Back at my typewriter, I've begun a log of our adventure aboard this shabby and overcrowded lifeboat. This is our second day at sea. This morning we awakened and we discovered that Mrs. Higgins was no longer a member of our party. During the night she slipped overboard and joined her child. Another tragedy of this unholy war. But we gained another passenger shortly thereafter. Ironically, a Nazi seaman from the U-boat which sank our freighter. From the moment of his arrival, it has become my privilege... Did I say privilege? To serve as his interpreter, since I'm the only one who speaks German. As the men rig the makeshift sails, it is apparent that thunder in the form of friend Kovac is about to burst. I am very thankful. They have my life saved. It is too late that we your ship to sink. What is he whining about? He merely is saying that he is very grateful to us for saving his life and regrets very much the U-boat was compelled to sink our ship. Ask him why they shelled our lifeboats. Baron Shishinsi of, uh, of Rettel's water. The failed is Capitains. Those are his captain's orders. Ask him if he's a captain. Then see the Capitain, there's you both. No, and he's been no iron man there, but that's on kind of it here. He denies he's a captain or officer, he's just a crew member. A crew member of Skipper, he's German, that's what I can't stomach. Well, a guy can't help being a German if he's born a German, can he? Neither can a rattlesnake help being a rattlesnake if he's born a rattlesnake. That don't make him a nightingale. Oh, Gus, isn't that a pair of new nylons on your hand? Oh, it's a fine time to discuss nylons. Please, Gus, who are they for? Well, they're a present for my girl, Rosie, in New York. Oh? Oh, you know, I've gone through earthquakes, pestilence, war, and shipwreck with my head bloody and unbowed. But there's one thing I know I can't survive. But this one in my stocking. Oh, no. Darling, it does things for my morale. Throw the Nazi buzzard overboard. Don't be silly, darling. He can't very well get off in the middle of the ocean, can he? Throw him off. It's out of the question. It's against the law. Whose law, Mr. Rittenhouse? We're on our own here. We make our own laws. Now, wait. This man was acting under orders. Our freighter was an enemy ship. After all, we're at war. Was Mrs. Higgins at war? Was her baby at war? She's speaking very good Deutsch. Uh, haven't she been seeing in Deutschland? What did he say? He says I speak his language well. <laughs> he asked whether I had any German connections. Have you? Certainly not. And how come you know the lingo so well? And how come when I climbed into this lifeboat that you were the only one in it? All dressed up like, like you knew you were going someplace. Because I was going someplace. I was going into a lifeboat. And you certainly didn't forget to bring plenty of luggage along. Luggage? <laughs> you silly, ridiculous ass. I... What is this? Are you insinuating? You seem to be pretty anxious to stand up for your friend here. What do you mean, my friend? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's keep our shirts on. I haven't got it, Sheriff Mr. Rittenhouse, or a mink coat either. Oh, I get it. A fellow traveler. I thought the common turn was dissolved. Now, children. Throw him overboard and then stick around and watch him drown. And when he goes down, I'll dance a jig like Hitler did when France went down. You're not alone here, Kovac. Let's leave the decision to the majority. That's the American way. Gus? Well... For the record, I'm an American, see, but I'm in kind of a spot because my name is Gus Smith, see, and I changed it to Smith. And that's what I got against these guys more than anything else because they made me ashamed of the name I was born with. And I say, chuck them to the sharks. Alice? I don't understand people hurting each other or killing each other. It seems to me he should be turned over to the proper authorities. So do I. I'll talk to the man. Perhaps I can get some information from him. Material for your book? Incidentally. What about you, Joe? Do I get to vote, too? Why, yes, certainly. Uh, I guess I'd rather stay out of this. That makes it three to two, the German states. Well, let's get down to business. Let's begin by unfurling the sail. Joe, you take that detail. Yes, sir. Kovac? One moment, Kovac. You know something about machinery, don't you? A little. Well, see if you can fix this clasp on my bracelet. Okay, give me a hand. Gently. Very gently. I don't even mind if I don't touch it. Miss Porter, I've read a lot of your stuff. Darling, how utterly charming. You want to know what's the matter with it? No, do tell me. You've been all over the world. You've met all kinds of people, but you never write about them. You only write about yourself. You think the whole war's a show put on for you to cover as a correspondent like a Broadway play. If enough people die before the last act, maybe you might give it four stars. All right, Tavares. Now you listen to me. Gangway, here comes the sail. Head down or head up. Uh, folks, we're underway. Well, where to? Huh? Where are we going? Bermuda. What about the course? Well, uh, 
Anybody here know the cost of Bermuda? Well, I was at the wheel when we got punctured, and the course was 315 east-southeast. Take the Tilakovac. East-southeast it is. Which way is east-southeast? Without a compass? Uh, what about the sun? With well, the sun this high, it's pretty hard to tell the points of a compass. I think it's out that way. You think? I'll tell you the rest in one moment. I'll ask the German. Können Sie an die Richtung? Oh, suit us and geben? Den wie ich bitte sehr. He says east southeast is in that direction. How does he know? He ought to know. I was under the impression his sub was operating around here, wasn't it? I suppose he'd lead us to Bermuda, British territory. Don't you suppose he'd rather be a prisoner of war in Bermuda than here? I don't trust him. Kovac, you're prejudiced and you can't think straight. If anybody's in a position to know where we are and where Bermuda is, he's the one. Who says so? We'll follow the Germans, of course. Well, like a you, Skipper. Well... Anybody else you'd rather have? What do you know about a ship? Well, among other things, he just happens to own a shipyard, that's all. Has he ever been in it? He has thousands of employees. He knows how to handle men. Not in a lifeboat. What we need is an able seaman. How about you, Gus? Who, me? Well, <laughs> nah, nah, right now I'm kind of a disabled seaman with this leg. How about yourself, Kovacs? That trunk run this boat with what? An oil can? If you're talking about a skipper, we've got the skipper right on this boat. The German. But he wasn't the captain. <laughs> wasn't he? Herr Captain. Yeah? There you are, ladies and gentlemen. There's your skipper. What about it? You mean you want to turn the boat over to the man who sunk our freighter and shelled our lifeboats? I mean, I want you to turn over the boat to the man obviously best qualified to run it. Well, you're crazy. Well, why shouldn't you take charge, Kovac? Because I'm taking charge. Since when? As of now, I'm skipper. Anybody don't like it can get out and swim to Bermuda. What about that? I'll buy it. Suits me. Me too, Kovac. The good old American way, Mr. Rittenhouse. Typewriter it went with me everywhere. Paris, Berlin, Rome, Berlin. Now, Connie, quit grousing. You've been saying the same thing over and over for three days now. Why shouldn't I grouse? Little by little, I'm being stripped of all my earthly possessions. First, my camera. Well, I don't mind the loss of the camera so much, but the film in it. I get ill when I think of it. Then my blanket goes. Then my fur coat. Mrs. Higgins could have had at least been considerate enough to return it to me before she jumped overboard. Say, Kovac, where did you get that memo pad in your hand? I borrowed it from you to make a deck of cards. Do you mean to say that you opened my bag? It wasn't. How about a little poker? Okie dokie. Did you win, Miss Porter? With the deck you made, darling? Jack's opener. That'll do for a starter. Dollar limit? Okie dokie. Got the deal. Your deal. Now, wait, I'll take off my jacket. Mm hmm. No shirt underneath, Rick. Look at all that pretty tattooing. What are those letters on your diaphragm, Kovac? Love letters. <laughs> so you believe in advertising? I open I never could fathom this quaint business of making a billboard out of one's torso. Stay. Three cards. I must say, however, that you've shown commendable delicacy just tattooing the initial and not printing the names, addresses, and telephone numbers. Let's see now, how many are there? One, two, three, four... Five. Remind me to show you the rest of them sometime. Kovac. Yes, Alice? I've just removed the bandages from Gus's room. Better come on over to his corner with me. Yes, sure. I'll have a look, too. Boy, Michael, looks like a leg of lamb, doesn't it? Uh, Fräulein Porter. Jawohl. Das Bein muss amputiert werden. What do you say, Miss Porter? Amputiert? Here? Jawohl, unverzeichlich. Die Operation muss sofort gemacht werden, oder der Mann wird sterben. What's the Nazi saying? Gus, I'm... I'm afraid your leg. Gangrene? Hello, gangrene. Gus, I mean, Alice, the leg will have to be amputated once. Oh, oh no, no, I... I've never even seen an amputation. Unter den gegebenen Umständen halten Sie es vielleicht für unangemessen, meine Dienste in Anspruch zu nehmen. Aber ich bin sure von Beruf und habe viele Amputationen durchgeführt. He says he knows he's an enemy, and technically our prisoner, so perhaps we won't care to trust him with the operation, but he's willing to do it. He was a surgeon in civilian life. He's done many operations. Yeah, if he did, they were probably illegal. No dice. I don't want no operation. No. You want to live, don't you? Not with one leg. Oh, don't be a sad guy. You don't understand. Sure, I do, I. Rosie. What's Rosie got to do with it? Everything. If, if, if I lose my leg, I, I lose Rosie. 
If she was the right kind of woman, now, it would... Kovac, you take that back. Darling, don't pay any attention to that human 24 sheet. You listen to me. I may not know Rosie, but I know women. Some of my best friends are women. 